Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back. No effects, YT here. And, um, yes. So, today, what is the difference between a regular nerf dart and a Accu Strike dart? This is the Accu Strike series. Not new. It's been out for almost a year now. Close to it, at least. A couple, not a couple. Probably about, I don't know, close to a year. What's different about these, it's kind of like waffle head darts. I don't have any of those. I've just watched videos about them. Waffle head darts, it's kind of like that. These are orange to begin with. Same foam as the blue, but not the same tip. That's the only thing that's different. Accu Strike dart is a little heavier. You can't really tell the difference if you're just holding them. But, I mean, if you put them on a scale, like a, like a super super duper small scale, you're able to see that the Accu Strike dart weighs a little bit more because the tip weighs a little bit more. And this tip, it's just you're able to push in. Well, this is a newer one, so you're able to just push in, you know. This one, it's it's not hollow like the regular Nerf dart. It's, oh, crap, I just dropped it. Oh, they don't need it no more. It's not hollow through the uh, the tip is not hollow at all so it's basically just uh, a full rubber yes yeah, rubber just a full soft rubber piece at the very top and just foam so that's what's different now that we've talked about the extra strike darts let's talk about the gun that I'm going to re be reviewing today it will be the AccuStrike Alpha Hawk Yep, the AccuStrike series, Alpha Hawk. AccuStrike series, the Alpha Hawk. Nerf, right there. This blaster is a is in the AccuStrike series. It it's a cylinder blaster that pops out. It holds five rounds of the cylinder. I would have shoved that back in. Priming is kind of unique. You hold these on each side. Or either side. You don't have to hold them on both sides. You're able to use both of them. So once you do that, you just prime it back. And then let it go. Go back forward. Pull the trigger. Pull back. Until you run out of the five shots. Now, this gun does come with a few tactical rails. One at the top here, right above the priming handle. As you can see right there. Then there's one for right here. You can replace that with a bipod or something to go on that tactical rail. It'll be like super elite sniper mode. And uh, put up here a scope or something. You know, a uh, red dot. No, probably no, but... Uh, like I said, uh, nothing, n no scopes or nothing will help you perform better in Nerf. It's kind of just, you know, Accu Strike darts are not really that different. They're not really more accurate. But uh, let's fire a round out without, let's just keep looking. The cylinder. Come right back up. Prime the blaster. Aim it. Let me go ahead and get out of here. Aim. And there you go. Sorry, my water bottle just fell. Okay, so uh, this gun has no barrel. the The barrel is just this big thing in there, as you can see. The chamber is. I can stick my hand right through it, and uh, nothing will happen. There's no barrel in there. This whole thing is the barrel. So, I mean, to perform accuracy a little bit better, I guess you could put some PVC pipe in there and um, help it out, I guess. Uh, like I said, five-shot cylinder that pops out using these buttons. Where are they at? Ooh, it's only on the... It's only on the left side. So, right-handed users... It's gonna have a hard time using this. You're gonna have to hold it like this and then push it up. I'm sure you can find like a technique holding, pushing it like this with your thumb, wrapping around, pushing, and shoving out. That's how I do it. I'm ready to reload. 
Grab this. Doom, 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 doom. Okay. Feel like an AK. Let's go. Just reach around. That's how I fire it. I'm just joking. But once you get done loading it, prime fire. Prime fire. But who wants to do this? I use my left hand, my off hand. I just hold it steady. Two. Again, this blaster does not have slam fire, so. Kind of slow rate of fire, not really, but you know, it just depends on how fast you are with it. Um, iron sight does not correspond with no rear sight. And no rear iron sight. It's kind of just there, you know, at the front iron sight. I don't know if y'all can see that. This blaster's pretty big. But it's got a hole, or it got like a cylinder with some crosshairs, and then, yeah, some crosshairs at the side, and then a, um, and then a little piece of plastic in the middle so you're able to see through. So, let me move the camera here. So, about just like that. So, yeah. And y'all can see my Nerf gun arsenal over there. I will be doing a video tomorrow about my ar arsenal. So, like I said, I got about 20 guns. I will be reviewing them all. And any new ones that I get, I will be unboxing and reviewing. So, yeah, we done talked about the darts. So, yeah, that's the blast. Let's talk about the grip. I honestly love the grip. comes with some rubber pieces right here. You know, to help you grip or something. Um... Right here, they got a, a handguard, just in case somebody's trying to come at you with a sword, doom, doom, hit them. Or you just go boom, boom, like uh, knuckle dusters. <laughs> uh, thumb hole stop, right there. I think that's what it's called, thumb hole. It's called a thumb hole. Uh, pretty big, pretty spacious, I like it. Like I said, I love this grip a lot. It fits me super duper well. Like I said, I have big hands. Those are big hands for a 11-year-old. So, it fits me pretty good. Um, grip is down here. I mean, you could put a handle up here like this. Let me use the retaliator grip that I've already reviewed that in uh, yesterday's video. Okay, so you could put a handle on here. It probably looks weird, but I mean, if it suits you, it helps you move better. I mean, it helps you nerf better. I mean, it's kind of your opinion. But I mean, like I said, I keep it like this. So really, me having this up here don't really help anything. So I mean, I guess it just, you know. I guess you could put something like there if you wanted to, but I'm just not like that. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, guys, I thought of this, uh, once I got to making the other video. I thought on the smaller blasters that I review. Like, uh, the double strike, the fire strike, um, uh, stuff like that. Like, the strong arm. Well, not the strong arm. But, uh, like this. Like, the double strike. This is an awesome blaster, by the way. I already took it apart, and I took out the trigger lock. So, if you point it back, I'm sure it's gonna stay like that. Put it forward. It's gonna stay like that. I already took this thing apart, and I did that. Double Strike will be in tomorrow's video. Just hint. I'm kind of telling you. But Double Strike will be reviewing in tomorrow's video. And I'll be taking a part from you guys. If I can. Find the right screwdriver for it. I lost the other screwdriver for it. See, this one I would not be taking apart. Just because reasons. A lot of screws. I mean, there's no reason for me to take it apart. So yeah. Back onto the stock. Uh, stock, I mean, a really big sling attachment point. I, I'd say a big sling attachment point. I mean, that's probably not a sling. This is a sling attachment point right there. Sorry, guys, that is not a sling attachment point. This is to correspond with, I guess, this you could use as a sling mount. But I don't sling any of my Nerf guns. So if I want to go sidearm or something with a double strike with my holster. I hold the uh, double strike in my holster. That's why it's up here. Just, you know, I don't know why. It's just a good backup two-shot. I'm going to grab a bigger spring for it. Um, 
And yes, a bigger spring does help a plunger tube uh, because the faster it's going up, the faster that plunger tube's going to send out the air. So, and the harder it does. So I've got it. It comes stock form pretty good, but like I said, we're not talking about the plaster. But there is the holster. And uh, this is my knife that I reviewed on my other channel that I lost, that my phone broke. So I made this channel. It has close to 34 subscribers, so hopefully I can get up there. That's my knife. That I do not carry that. Uh, I'm actually going hunting tomorrow. Well, whenever this gets uploaded, I, that's the day that I'm going to be hunting. Uh, hopefully, bag of squirrel. Uh, got my pellet gun ready. This is the knife that I carry with me. Just, you know, reasons. Uh, anything, really. This whole shot on my BB gun as well. Okay, back to the gun. <laughs> Sorry. Um... Uh, I like the stock. I like how it's kind of angled like that. I hope Nerf keeps doing that. I really do like it. Um, I think the uh, chin, the chin rest, not really chin rest, a cheek rest, sorry. It's kind of awesome. Kind of lines up with the iron sight pretty good, honestly. Uh, yeah, so let me go to personal combo here for you guys. How I would run an Alpha Hawk. Here we go. And the personal combo I have for the um, the AccuStrike line Alpha Hawk is Sniper Sniper Time Sniper Elite with the folding bipod that does not adjust at all foldable bipod and a scope Super Elite Sniper Scope that does not mag magnify at all I can stick my finger right in there. And I can feel the crosshairs. Same thing with the other side. Uh, does it help you perform? No. But, makes it look cool. And that's the whole point about it. Just makes it look cool. So, boom, there you go. Bipod. Ready to go. Scope. Ready to go. Top and load. Ready to go. Now I'm going to shoot a Nerf dart out of my... Um, my combo real quick, just because, you know, just want to see how it perform, and it is uh, compatible with the Accu Strike line, Nerf darts are, and you can use uh, Accu Strike darts with Nerf guns, and uh, I honestly use Accu Strike darts with all my Nerf guns, because I feel like it's a little better, not a lot, but whenever it's going at a high speed, yes, it's a lot better. No difference at all. Uh, it seemed like it dropped a lot lower, honestly. Uh, we'll try one of the off-brand darts that I have. Uh, laying down here because where me and my sister had a nerf for. And yes, I do have a sister. And she will be shown in probably a few videos. So, we'll try the off-brand ones that are hard. Like the foam, you cannot squeeze. Like the foam is full of plastic. But not the bottom. But the rest is just full of plastic. You like cannot squeeze it at all. Uh, the top is rubber. Um, just like the Nerf dart and Accu Strike dart. Fits in there pretty snug. Here we go. Wow. It didn't even shoot. I never tried this, honestly. So we'll stick it down there even more. See if it shoots. Make sure it's down there. Aim for the end on Noah up there. It shot but terribly. Like it didn't even go three feet and then fell. I don't know. I will be upgrading the spring in this soon. But yeah guys, that's the video. And if you liked it. Splash that like button in the face with your keyboard or whatever you want to. Just make sure you hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And make sure to turn on bell notifications. If we can hit five likes on this video, that would be amazing. And uh, y'all guys are awesome. And yeah, make sure to hit that bell. Subscribe if you're new. And here we go. <sighs> Goodbye.